From New York, the greatest city in the world, it's The Late Show with David Letterman. Tonight, CBS Mailbag, Melanie Griffith, and winner of the 2003 Badwater Ultra Marathon, Pam Reed. Plus, Paul Schaefer and the CBS Orchestra. And now, proselytizing dental hygienist. Uh, this is uh, quite a story, quite an event. Out there in uh, Death Valley in California, every year, I guess for the last four or five years, they've been, no, the last 25 years, my mistake, they've been having this 135-mile uh, this fun run. <laughs> it, it's it's an ultra marathon, and they 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 start uh, b below uh, sea level, and then they go like halfway up Mount Whitney, nine thousand feet, and and it and it takes up to sixty hours, and we have the winner of this year's uh, competition, Pam Reed, will yes, be joining us. Yeah, the Badwater Ultra Marathon. Speaking of fantastic athletic achievements, ladies and gentlemen, do me, see, do me a favor, put your hands together. Say hello to five-time Tour de France winner, Lance Armstrong. Here he is. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Melanie Griffith is on the program and Pam Reed. It's an amazing thing. This woman is 42 years old, and she was the overall winner by 25 minutes. Defeated everybody in the competition. I can hardly And wait. it's a 135-mile run, <laughs> and they, they start below sea level, yeah. and they run up to around 9,000 feet. See, that's got to be it, really hard. Oh, yeah, yeah. It took her 28 hours. I, I'm sure. 28 that, hours. That's straight. That's just remarkable. Well, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Last week, our next guest won her second consecutive Badwater Ultra Marathon, running the 135-mile course in 28 hours, 26 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Pam Reed, everybody. the the back-to-back uh, -back victories in this event I'd never heard anything about this event before uh, t tell us how you started running and then how you got interested in running through Death Valley well I started running when I was 15 mm -hmm. and I to, to get in shape for tennis and then it went on from there I did some long-distance um, triathlon I did the Ironman mm. then I was doing I've done about 30 100 mile runs in but, the mountains uh, you, really 100 mile runs in the mountains mm -hmm. my god and how do you how do you do something like that for heaven's sakes well it's slow you know uh -huh. you kind of jog and sometimes when it gets steep you walk up the hills right now is, is that fair to call it a, a run if you're walking <laughs> I know, I know. It's not all running. Yeah, right. some of it's walking. Yeah. But this is just uh, ridiculous miles that you put in training and, and racing. And ha have you found that this uh, causes a lot of wear and tear on your body or you're not so bad? No, not so bad. I'm, I, the next day, every race I've ever done, I've ran yeah. again right away. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So there must be something about your physiognomy that is suited to this kind of punishment. <laughs> and, and, and tell us about the, the running through Death Valley. What, what about this event appealed to you? Well, I really like heat, and it's very hot mm -hmm. there. Uh, How hot is it at the start of the race? Well, at the start of this one, I started at 10 a.m. It was about 110. 100. Yeah. <laughs> and then how hot does it get during the course well, of the event? Well, they tell me this year it was 133. 133? Yeah. 133? Yes. And, and they, uh, I was reading that they can't have aid stations along the route because people waiting for the competitors in the sun and the heat would die. Yeah. <laughs> that you know so so we take our our aid stations uh -huh. with us it's, I had our my own crew with me mm -hmm. and they they're in vans right. air-conditioned vans and and so you you, you start off running and kind of take us through that 28 hours are, are you all right for most of it all right for an hour you're not all right at all <laughs> do you do you dehydrate do you hallucinate do you get to wobbly 
No, I, I felt fine the whole time. I mean, I had somebody with me. The first 17 miles, somebody can't be with you right next to you. Right. So they, they handed me water and ice, mm -hmm. and um, I have four people that help me. And then from 17 to 135, I could have somebody next to me on a bike, or mm -hmm. they... Um, Somebody ran with me. Some a friend of mine was with me, running with me. So and they handed me ice and water, and I drank Ensure and Red Bull and those types of things to keep calories in me. Well, but what what do you do mentally? Because you just said something. You, you can't have any assistance up to mile 17. And to me, if I could run 17 miles, I'd feel like, well, hot diggity, this is pretty good. <laughs> but but honest to God, you're not even out the door at 17 miles. <laughs> you, you've got like 120 miles left. Well, that's for sure. You don't think about that. You uh -huh. know, you're you're only thinking about um, the first 17. There's like these little stops. You have to tell them your number when mm -hmm. you go by. So 17 miles was that point. Right. And, and there, this year it was kind of a bummer because there were there were men ahead of me. Oh. And I didn't. You know, I I wanted to win. So, but they were ahead of me, and then. They were ahead until, um, actually, I didn't pass the top guy until 111 miles. Mm -hmm. um, and when I passed him, I, that was exciting. Yes. Uh -huh. And, <laughs> and is, 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 is there something about women that, that uh, makes them better suited to this kind of distance running than, than men? I, you know, I'm not so sure about that, but maybe because we have more fat on us. Mm. I, I, um, or maybe because we're able to have children mentally, we can go through a lot of pain. Right. There's, there's, there's definitely pain involved. I see. <laughs> but you did not give birth during the race. <laughs> no, thank goodness. Because <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> All right, now we have some videotape of the event, and when we come back, we're going to take a look at Pam Reed in the uh, Bad Water Ultra Marathon. Nice to meet Show some videotape of the event and you tell us what we're looking at. Go ahead, roll the videotape. There you are. You look pretty good there. That's my friend. She's a judge in Tucson, Arizona. Uh -huh. Her name is Susie Bacall, and we're running. Um, that's coming in uh, probably in the beginning somewhere, maybe right. in the... And now that's the end coming in because I had a tie something around my knee. It was really uh -huh. sore. And they squirt me because it's hot. Very, very hot. Yeah. And how did you feel when you realized that you were going to win and you were, uh, had passed the men and you were like 25 minutes ahead of them? That must have given you a great surge of adrenaline. Is that well, possible? And he was still coming after me mm -hmm. at the end. Really? Yeah. yeah. And, and I had to climb, we had to climb Mount Whitney, or halfway up Mount Whitney, which is about. probably about, I don't know, maybe 5,000 feet. Mm -hmm. um, and so it was, it was, I was never relaxed until I crossed the finish right. line. And what do you win for your efforts? You get a belt buckle and... <laughs> Well, good Lord, sign me up. Where do I, where do I get in this? A, a new belt buckle? Are yeah. you kidding me? No, that's it. Uh, and what is it? Uh, I mean, recovering. Are, are your feet blistered when you're done from the heat and the, the friction and such? A little bit. Yeah. And I, my, you, you get blisters under your toenails, which oh, is Lord. a little painful. Yeah, I would think so. Um, but otherwise, I'm, I'm pretty good. Uh -huh. and, and are you going to do it again next year? Um. I, I can't say yes, and I, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's too soon. Right now, yeah. I would have to say, you know, no, I can't even imagine. Because, right. you know, uh, driving back, we went through uh, where we started the race, and it was only 112 when I went back, uh -huh. and that felt so hot to me. Yeah. So, you know, in the day, two days before, it was 130, and it didn't feel hot. So it's a mental it's thing. It's crazy, yeah. 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 Well, what's it like running at night? Is that uh, disorienting at all or not? No, it's it's actually kind of fun. You have a flashlight uh -huh. and you just keep running, and it's there is was a really good thing because it's cooler. Yeah, yeah, and it's um this you know the stars are out. Right. It's really you just pretty. keep thinking about that belt buckle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was it. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thanks. Here's your uh, Badwater Ultra Marathon champion, Pam Reed. Love we'll you right back, everybody. Mm -hmm.